top the billboard charts for scores, years a thousand fold, till everyone realizes the truth will go pop. The honest and upright will bang in the club, lying will only list you with the sucker MCs. Grammys will be overrated and oxymoronic. Ghostwriting will win Pulitzer. Slang will evoke change. Breakbeats will become elevator music. Car navigation will use top to bottom rap walls to get you through traffic. Grandmothers will still be making music with their mouth biz. Thugs will finally come out into the world that they are the real hip hop masons. Wearing baggy jeans under your ass will come back permanently. Tattoos will be earned. Dreads will be licensed only to the nappy. The party people will strike against DJs using MP3s. Studios will be strapped with lie detectors. Rappers will replace video holes with their wives and kids. MC Light will be our new Oprah. The Oscar will go to Lupe Fiasco for playing Rock Kim. We will wake up every morning and pray south to the Bronx. We will have a hip hop high school for the ignorant but blissful, where they will teach master classes on beatboxing, field trips to old train yards, horticulture classes on who can grow the best kush. <laughs> Big L's rhyme books will be the basis for all English majors. We will live in a world ruled by the iron fist of the 808. It was a good day by Ice Cube will be illustrated into a children's book. They will paint the Brooklyn Bridge red, black, and green to commemorate Spike Lee. There will finally be some honor amongst us. See America's Most Wanted. We're running our special on who killed Jam Master J. Hollywood will move to Atlanta for balance. LA will celebrate their independence from the entertainment industry. We will respect our gold chains, our diamonds, and replace them with Steve Biko nameplate quotes. Democracy will fall into the hands of an old cheat out government, but dead friends will be in charge of the People's Army of the United States. Latif will be the first lady, ladies first. And what do you know? Eric B. will be president. So when Triple Cross reached out to me, it was great because I don't get these kind of phone calls. And I really want to do these kind of gigs because I work hard to make those poems stick and make anybody love poetry. You know, my job is not to impress poets. My job is to impress people with the work. And so, as you can see, you know, I come up there, my story is from Brooklyn, but yet we all relate because that's what writing should do. So they thank you to Triple Cross for bringing me out and let me uh, rock their car. So, I'm sure he gave, you know, he talked about my film credits, but you know, I walked into an office to meet an agent one, down, one day down in Beverly Hills. And he began to lay out no options for me as an actor because he said I wasn't experienced. And in the middle of this guy shooting holes in my integrity, I said to him, listen, motherfucker, you're a failed actor who became an agent. And you know why you failed as an actor? Because people like me took your job. I'm a three-time felon with a Tony Award, which means I can have you holding my belt, washing my drawers, and that shit will change the world. I traveled all the way from Cleveland and Essex and East New York, took the local six line up to the hookers of Hunts Point, who were in my way, on my way to master the art of space and the one to infinite amount of man, woman, and child you could fit in it, only so I could push them to the back of the wall with my experience. People have bought tickets to my experience and used them as refrigerator magnets to let them know that the revolution is near, so stock up. I'm so experienced that when you went to a privileged school to learn a Shakespearean sonnet, I was getting those beats kicked and shoved into me. I could match the shock of the crying game with the awe of a child being called an AIDS victim by a bully who didn't know that it was his father who gave it to my mother, and that's a double Entendre. I'm so experienced that the fell ballet and the rich little fairy boys decided to sponsor a child, and that was me. But kicked me out when I was caught teaching the fairy boys how to rob the patch up a pair of Lee jeans and bring them to VIM. Let me see Chekhov pull that shit off. Sanford Meisner was my uncle Artie yelling silently to himself, something's always wrong and nothing's always right. Method acting is nothing but a mixture of multiple personalities. Believe in your own lives or reality. Like in high school, cool Kenny telling us he wanted to be a cop. Do you go to Rikers Island Academy, I can make David Mamet psychoanalyze my attack on dialogue, Stannis Blosky be as if, be as if he were Bruce Lee, kicking your roster of talentless, scholastic asses up and down Crenshaw. So what? Your actor studied guerrilla, guerrilla theater at the London Rep. Let me tell you an ancient Chinese Saturday afternoon kung fu secret. Boys don't hit back. 
You think black entertainers have a hard time to work in this business? I'm a suspicious mulatto, which means I'm too black to be white and too white to be doing it right. Fuck the American ghetto. I crash stage this square. Bury the portion babies in college. You know, still manage to keep a smile on my face, and those chops can't be bought or taught. So whatever you curse at me, see so your caddy shack, go for this, go for that assistant when I walk out that door. Whatever slander you send my way, your mother.